Hi, good evening. I'd like to welcome you to Palm Praise 2. And peace and blessings be upon you and your family this evening. Now we are going to get right back into Daddy Talk. We're currently on chapter number two, which is entitled The Voice of a Father. There are many instructors but few fathers. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into chapter two, take one. And it reads as such. The voice of a father is so important in the lives of our youth because the words of a father will leave an incredible mark on a child for life. There is no higher position created higher than that of a father. Every father must have insight into his child's future. The father's voice helps to validate the child's value and self-worth. It speaks to the child's identity. The father's voice acknowledges the significance that they are looking for. It is the father who gives the sense of security to a child. The sense that everything is going to be all right. The father's voice is a voice of protection and correction. His voice is there to give the child direction, drive, and the discipline needed in their life to keep them on track. Before the child was born, the father carried the child's destiny in his seed. Through, though, excuse me, though the mother may have intuition, the fathers have the insight to see beyond where they are. The father's voice is a voice of authority, approval, and acceptance. Three of the major things youth are looking for today is to belong, to fit in, and to be accepted. This is the reason why there is an overwhelming amount of gain activity in America. Children are longing to be a part of something. They are looking for a leader to follow. They are looking and searching for directions and guidance. Children want and need rules and boundaries in their lives. They want to know what is acceptable and unacceptable. The father is ultimately responsible to fill in the missing pieces to the puzzle in their lives. The father must give their child guidance, instruction, leadership, protection, correction, provision, and security. Do you remember when your daddy walked in the room? He may not have said a lot. But just his presence made a difference. The way he looked at you, you knew it was time to straighten up immediately. His words were few, but they were filled with authority and power. He only spoke something once, and if he had to say it again, you knew what was next. I enjoy watching the animal channel. I've heard it said that when the young lions get out of hand and the mother cannot control them, the father lion would show up and immediately the little cubs, excuse me, the little ones would get back in place because his presence brings order. When a father is not in place, the home, community, 
and world is out of place and our youth are suffering because of it. I share with single moms who have a son or daughter that it is imperative to have a positive male role model in their child's life. Even though they might be doing a good job rearing the child, I encourage them to find a man they can trust and respect to be that missing part in their child's life. There were four men in my own life that gave me the guidance and direction I needed after my dad's death, after my daddy's death. Lawrence Stokes, the leader of a group called the Followers of Christ and choir director for our church, when I was a teenager, was one of those persons in my life. He actually taught me how to sing. He also taught me about the business of music. Joseph Jennings was another person in my life, an anti-drug and gang speaker. Joseph took me under his wing and mentored me. He guided me on the road to become an international motivational speaker. Then there was Dale Brooks, my pastor. He taught me what it was to be a man of character. He also taught me that my family should be my number one priority. Finally, I had Dr. Miles. Monroe as part of my life. Dr. Monroe helped me to discover my purpose and potential. Dr. Monroe imparted and sparked gifts within me, gifts that I was not aware of. I probably wouldn't have started writing if it had not been for his input in my life. As in my life, you can see your child can have more than one voice in their life. A father's voice. The voice may be a voice of a coach, a counselor, band director, a youth leader, a teacher, a mentor, a pastor, an uncle, or even a neighbor. But once again, they must be someone who you can respect and trust, who will give them the positive input that's needed for their future. I am reminded of a cute little story I heard about as an old farmer who raised chickens and roosters. One day he was out and discovered a nest with three little eagles left alone. It seemed as if they had been abandoned. So he took those three little chickens back to his farm where he raised chickens and roosters. The little eagles were so outnumbered by all those little, by all those chickens and roosters, excuse me, that they decided they had to do everything they saw the chickens and roosters do. When the old farmer threw out crumbs to feed the chickens and roosters, three little eagles ran out and scrape for the crumbs, just like the rest of the rest of them. This reminds me of some of my brothers in the hood who simply scrape for nothing. Many of them are getting locked up for little nickel and dime crimes. When the rooster got up in the morning and gave his cock-a-doodle-doo, the three little eagles would do the same thing. Their behavior became just like their environment, simply because they didn't know who they were. Well, one day, a big eagle flew over this farm and saw these three little eagles running behind a flock of chickens and roosters. He flew down and asked them, do you know who you are? Hmm. They smiled and stuck their uh, three little chests out and said, yes. We be chickens, the big eagle said. No men 
you are not chickens. You are eagles. They said, no, we are all chickens. The eagle said, how do you know you are a chicken? They said, we walk like one. We talk like one. We act like one. Yeah, we be chickens. I love what the big eagle then said to these little ones. He said, look at me. You have the same eyes I have. These eyes are eyes of vision to see things miles away. He went on to say, look at those claws you have. They are not made to scrape on the ground for crumbs. No, those claws were made to pick up something and not let it go. Then he said, and see those wings you have? They were made for you to fly, to soar, and to go as far as your mind can take you. The little ones asked the big eagle, if that is true, then why aren't we flying like you? The big eagle simply replied, you have just been hanging out with the wrong birds and you have lost your true identity. Hmm. That does complete take one of chapter two of Daddy Talk. So I want for you to be well, take care, be blessed, and it be at thy will. I'll speak with you soon here on Palm Praise 2. So until next time, later y'all.